Hello, good evening. Here we are again today with our Bible reading. Today's Bible reading is uh, from Colossians 3. Where we are going through the book of Colossians. So the book of Colossians is an important look into the mystery of Christ, which was hidden for generations and now disclosed to the saints. This letter is a glorious reminder of everything Christ did for us in conquering sin and death. It shows his supremacy over all things, explaining what our godly response should be. This is what the summary of Colossians 3 as a whole. Colossians 3 talks about, talks about put on the new shell, putting on the new shell. So Colossians 3 reminds us that we have been raised with Christ, so we should set our hearts on things above. We died with Christ to the things of this world. We are instructed to put them aside along with our old shell and in its place to put on our new shell, which is being renewed in the knowledge and image of our Creator. Paul then gives practical ways in how to live this out as well as instructions for family life. So let's do the reading of Colossians 3. It's from ESV, English Standard Version. Put on the new cell. 1. If then you have been raised with Christ, seek the things that are above, where Christ is, seated at the right hand of God. Set your minds on things that are above, not on the things that are on earth. For you have died and your life is hidden with Christ in God. When Christ who is your life appears, then you also will appear with him in glory. Put to death therefore what is earthly in you, sexual immorality, impurity, passion, evil desire and covetousness, which is idolatry. On account of this the wrath of God is coming. In this you too once were, when you were living in them, but now you must put them all away. Anger, wrath, malice, slander, obscene talk from your mouth. Do not lie to one another, seeing that you have put off the old self with its practices, and have put on the new shell, which is being renewed in knowledge after the image of his creator. Here there is not Greek and Jew, circumcised and uncircumcised, barbarian, Scythian, slave, free, but Christ is all and in all. Put on then as God's chosen ones, holy and beloved, compassionate hearts, kindness, humility, meekness, and patience, bearing with one another, and if one has a complaint against another, forgiving each other as the Lord has forgiven you. So you also must forgive, and above all, this put on love which binds everything together in perfect harmony. And let the peace of Christ rule in your hearts, to which indeed you have called in one body. And be thankful, let the word of Christ dwell in your richly, teaching and admonishing one another in all wisdom, singing psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, with thankfulness in your hearts to God. And whatever you do in word or deed, do everything in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God the Father through Him. Rules for Christian Households Wives, submit to your husbands as it is fitting in the Lord. Husbands, love your wives and do not be harsh with them. Children, obey your parents in everything, for this pleases the Lord. Fathers, do not provoke your children, lest they become discouraged. Born servants, obey in everything those who are your earthly masters, not by way of eye service as people pleasers, but with sincerity of heart, fearing the Lord. Whatever you do, work heartily as for the Lord and not for man knowing that from the Lord you will receive the inheritance as your reward. You are serving the Lord Christ, for the wrongdoer will be paid back for the wrong he has done, and there is no partiality. So, such a wonderful reading from Colossians 3. Uh, we really have to put our old self out, as really Christ died, and along with it, our old self also died. We need to focus on the areas which Paul talks about. We need to keep very care of what comes out from our mouth. We cannot be people pleasers and what are our roles as a husband and as the children and fathers as well. And we need to do them accordingly. Uh, may all be blessed by this reading and hope that we will be uh, learning more in the coming days. So thank you. Stay home. Stay safe. Take care.